Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we are going to be gazing upon a very special page in this here Devil Fruit Encyclopedia as we examine the ever mysterious Yami Yami no Mi. The Yami Yami no Mi is a Logia type fruit that allows its user to conjure, manipulate, and become darkness. And before we go any further, we do need to address this fruit's typing because there is a lot of confusion in the fan base about it due to its unique spin on the Logia class. However, the direct quote from chapter 440 in volume 45 very clearly states that the Yami Yami no Mi is a rarity even amongst the Logia fruits, before Blackbeard goes on to quite literally state that it is a Logia type in chapter 441. Thinking that it is anything else is the first of several misconceptions regarding the Yami Yami no Mi that we will be covering here today. But at this time, we should also note that this fruit was consumed by Marshall D. Teach, better known as Blackbeard, who went so far as to murder one of his former crewmates in order to acquire its power. This may be because the Yami Yami no Mi is said to be, depending on the translation you've read, either the most evil or most dangerous devil fruit powers in existence. And when you think of the kind of crazy powers we have out there, this is a pretty damn big statement. As for where the fruit takes its name, well, it's very directly from the Japanese word for darkness being Yami. And I feel like if you've been a fan of anime or manga for any period of time, you'll very much have encountered that word by now. Although the English translations of both Viz and Funimation decided to omit the Ness portion and go with the simpler labeling of the dark, dark fruit. All right, well, let's get into things by stating that the ability to conjure, manipulate, and become darkness is not as simple as it may initially seem. Because what this fruit more or less does is craft darkness so dense that it sucks everything in, including light, and thus begins to function as a mechanism of controlling gravity as a bit of a side effect. A pretty damn amazing side effect in which you can summon objects or people to you against their will at the very lowest levels of usage, and even go on to create a miniature black hole at its most extreme. Now, I really don't want to get too hung up on the specifics behind what a black hole can and cannot do in reality, because even the definition given in the series very much ignores its own rules. For example, when conjuring a black hole, Mr. Blackbeard claims that his dark gravity shiz will compress any object with infinite power. Sounds amazing, yeah? But he then goes on to regurgitate an entire town from his person, and yes, it is completely destroyed, but certainly not compressed with the kind of power he stated it to be. Now, this is not to state that the user of the Yami Yami no Mi does not have access to that infinite compression, because it may be possible that the user also has control over the level of compression that they are using against objects and being sucked inside of them. And with that in mind, in certain situations, it may be desirable to keep light compression, because as I've just stated, it is possible to release objects from your grasp, which may very well assist your needs, whether it be a projectile town thrown at an opponent in combat, or simply a nice can of refreshing Coca-Cola that you've kept waiting inside your body for just the right occasion. So you could almost consider this black hole a sort of pocket dimension where anyone or anything could be stored. Very, very handy. However, this absorption is also highly beneficial in that the darkness produced by the Yami Yami no Mi even has the power to absorb the devil fruit abilities of other users. Now this is a very unique, even one-of-a-kind power in this world, because unlike Sea Stone, which merely weakens fruit users, or Ama Mataki, which allows you to bypass the powers of a fruit user to reach their substantial body, the Yami Yami no Mi provides absolute nullification of a devil fruit power. As such, by coming into contact with the user of the Yami Yami no Mi, Logia, Paramecia, and according to Blackbeard, even Zoan users lose the entirety of their powers and become normal beings once more. And how we think about that in regards to the Zoan class is particularly interesting, because if Blackbeard were to touch Chopper, for example, then would that mean that he would lose his human sentience and become a simple reindeer once more for the duration of contact? And the answer is quite possibly. And now before we all start considering this the most incredible devil fruit to have ever existed, it does come with one pretty massive weakness, which is very simply that the user is engaging absorption within their fruit, rather than intangibility, which is the standard feature of every other Logia we've covered in the encyclopedia thus far. This means that if the user of the Yami Yami no Mi is attacked, then they can absorb said attack. However, this is an art form and it is entirely possible, if not probable, for the user to be enabled to perform this in time, and in that case, the user will feel the impact of an attack, but not only that, the damage taken is actually amplified, making this an exceptionally undesirable fruit if your tolerance for pain is minimal. But for the right wielder, this fruit can be absolutely incredible. And to touch on that a bit more, let's examine Mr. Darkness himself, Blackbeard. And for the most part, he makes use of this fruit to somewhat level the playing field against opponents who should probably outclass him in most regular situations, primarily via the mechanism of nullifying their devil fruit powers. Although another one of his common usages is to engage in crowd control by simply crafting a black hole to absorb any small fry that he does not wish to deal with at the time. And now this next part here is speculation, I warn you, but it is also entirely possible that Blackbeard's use of the Yami Yami no Mi is why he is the only known being in the history of One Piece to wield two Devil Fruit abilities at the same time after he acquired the Goro Goro no Mi from Whitebeard's corpse during the Paramount War. The theory is that the nullification properties of the Yami Yami no Mi is the mechanism that contains the negative side effects of the second Devil Fruit destroying the user's body. Now, if this is true, then this fruit more or less instantly becomes the best 
best fruit in the entire series, no contest. However, at the time of this recording, that is not confirmed. And in fact, there have been several strong hints to the idea that it is Blackbeard and his strange, strange body that is the gateway to this phenomenon. And where do you even begin with the awakening possibilities for a fruit like this? Not only have we not seen any confirmed awakenings of Logia fruits, but this is a unique Logia fruit, so it more than likely would not subscribe to whatever their standard is anyway. The thing is that this fruit is already pretty damn ridiculous. Any awakening that could allow the user to create larger, multiple, or even more powerful black holes pretty much immediately takes the Ami Ami no Mi to a cosmic apocalyptic level. So any form of awakening would certainly make this fruit live up to its reputation of being the most dangerous power ever encountered. Some other miscellaneous Many things to consider when becoming a darkness human. Bear in mind that unlike other Logia fruits, which represent elements such as fire or energies like light, darkness is an abstract. And so you can't really think about it as a substance to wield. You know, like we're not going to be able to throw a ball of darkness at someone, despite what the Pirate Warriors games would have you believe. And the fruit is focused much more on absorption and gravity manipulation. I should also qualify that the criteria for nullifying devil fruit powers is a bit vague at this stage in the story, as Blackbeard has only shown to be capable of this whilst physically touching an opponent with the darkness active. So if that is is indeed the case, then that is another slight limitation. But regardless, this fruit is pretty damn crazy town. Even if you take all of the speculative aspects away from it, crafting black holes and controlling gravity to some degree is a pretty enviable power. Really, the only drawback is the whole massive pain thing. But if you're not, you know, some mad power crazy dude bro like Blackbeard, then it shouldn't be a big worry, yeah? Because you know, you're probably not actively putting yourselves in dangerously combative situations. I mean, the biggest fear I would have is permanent pain amplification for those little moments like kicking your toe or receiving a paper cut. But even then, for the power you gain access to, it's, it's probably a fair trade-off. So if I encountered the fruit, I would definitely go for it, but I can very much understand if some of you are a bit more reserved about consuming this one. You do you. And with that, we are going to commit the Yami Yami no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we are going to be taking a look at a very similar sounding yet completely different fruit to the Yami Yami no Mi, which is the Resurrecti Majesty of the Yomi Yomi no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if Patreon isn't quite your style, then please do leave this video a like, share, or subscribe, because it also helps support this channel an incredible amount. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Yami Yami no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. Fist of Doom. I'm talking, of course, about the right one with the jewels. His left. The pearls. Pearls of wisdom, but fist of doom. The left one's a normal hand. Really? Yeah. What, your hand doesn't, like, occasionally get shrouded in mist? I'm not black mist. I'm black, so I mine should. <laughs> You're not. So maybe, like, kind of peachy, yellowy, pinky, white man mist? Can you stop talking about my white man mist? <laughs> <Do> you... <laughs>